Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update the Ledger Nano S Plus. Uh, so if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. All right, and if you're curious, this is something I like to do. I like to show the wine that I'm having while I'm doing a video. This is one of my favorites here uh, at around the $10 price range. You can get it in most stores. Costco, Sam's Club has a little bit cheaper, uh, but it's the Apothic Red, and then this vintage here is the 2020. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's a great wine for around 10 bucks. So anyways, back to the video. So let's go ahead and pop up our Ledger Live app. All right, there we go. So go ahead and put your password in and then we'll move forward. Well, now we're inside Ledger Live and you can see right now at the very top, there's a banner here that's showing me that I need to update the software uh, for Ledger Live to the latest version as of recording this video and that's 2.42.0, all right? So you always wanna make sure, I tell people this all the time in the comments, in my other videos, not only make sure that the firmware is updated on your Ledger products, but also make sure Ledger Live is updated here on your computer. Um, and so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna click on the download update. Now it is telling me that it's ready to install. All right, and so that comes back up again. Let's put that password in one more time. All right, and we are in and is letting us know a lot of the different updates that have been added on to this new version. Click continue. All right, and now we are in and you can see that there is no more banner at the top. So we're updated here on our software here. And what you wanna do next is go ahead and plug in your uh, Nano S Plus. So I've got my cable here. Got it right there, as you can see, and I'm gonna plug it into my computer. And for those of you who are interested, I have an adapter that I bought off of Amazon to be able to use the cabling that I have for my Nano S Plus. You can just buy a different cable. Um, but I've had this adapter for a while and it works really well for me. I'll leave it in the description below if you guys are interested as well, if you're looking for a solution. Um, I had someone comment one time, they're like, hey, no one ever shows what kind of adapters they're using, so I'll leave that in the description there. All right, so then go ahead and put in your pin. So I'm gonna put that in here and then we'll show what happens next. All right, so as you can see, I'm powered up here. Uh, you can see that I have some uh, different applications that are loaded on. Let's go on down to manager. All right, and then you're gonna see on your device here, it's gonna say, there we go, allow ledger manager. So you're gonna click both buttons at the top, just like that. And then it's gonna allow Ledger Live to speak to your Ledger product. Perfect, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys next here. So you're gonna see at the top there, the banner says update firmware to 1.0.3. It, it is available. So while it's plugged in, keep it plugged in, okay? That's very important, keep it plugged in. Um, you're then going to update the firmware at, the, at the, the far right. I do wanna also point out here, you can see I have two updates available. I've got Bitcoin and Ethereum that are loaded on the Nano S Plus here. I had that done in a previous video, uh, but it show, it's showing me as well that, hey, by the way, these apps have updates as well, but let's take things one step at a time. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's update the firmware first. All right, so then it gives you all the warnings with when you're about to do the update. You make sure, please make sure you have your 24 keyword seed phrase because let's say you have I don't know, a couple thousand to, you know, a couple hundred, depending on how much you have. I mean, you could have over a hundred thousand, I don't know. Um, on your Nano S Plus, safely secured on here. And if something ever happened, um, which hopefully it never does, I've never had any issues, but say something happened and suddenly your uh, ledger broke or whatever, your 24 keyword seed phrase allows you to restore that either back on the S Plus that you have here, if you can fix it, or on a new Nano S Plus. So you wanna make sure, always keep that 24 keyword seed phrase protected, safe, do not put it on a digital format. I always tell people about that. Do not put it like on your notes, on your laptop or your phone, uh, write it on a piece of paper. That's why Ledger sends you your papers with you. I don't have them in front of me right now. Um, but make sure that you have those available and protected so that you don't run into any issues and you can always restore that Ledger product in your wallets, your crypto assets in case something ever happens, okay? Sorry for that tangent, but I really wanna make sure I dro drove that home for you so you guys understood. Okay, so yes, I have my recovery phrase. All right, let's continue. Okay, 
So now it's downloading the update. It may take a little bit here, so I'll cut ahead in terms of the video. You can all see it on the screen there, but even on here on the Nano S Plus, it is even updating there, which is kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's saying it's showing a percentage. Perfect, so it's showing that there's new firmware. Please confirm the update on your device. So you can see it just says new firmware. Sorry guys, it's a little hard to see here. Um, let me get a focus there. There we go. It says new firmware, the 1.0.3. I'm going to click to the right here like that on the right button. And then I'm going to do click of both buttons at the at the top to confirm the update. So confirm. All right. So now, now we're back at the screen here, as you can see where I need to put in my pin. Okay. So I'm going to put my pin in again. All right. So now we're showing install apps on there. It, nothing is there currently. Don't freak out. You're okay. You're then click on this button. It says reinstall app. So it's going to do it for you. All right. And you're going to see allow ledger manager on your device. So put, push those two buttons at the top again, just like that. And now it is doing what it needs to do here. So we're now doing that third step that I was telling you about earlier that, Hey, those apps need to be updated. It is doing that right now with Bitcoin and then it'll do Ethereum next. All right. And then also it's doing Monero here. So, that was the other one I didn't mention, but as you can see, here's my list of apps that are currently on my Ledger product. It just finished Monero and there we go. We're all updated. So you can see right here at the top, the 1.0.3 is the firmware on my Nano S here. S plus, I should say, S plus, sorry. Um, you can see that uh, you've got how much space I have used currently. I have 185 kilobytes. I have 1.28 megabytes left to use up on my Nano S Plus. This guys, this is why I love the Nano S Plus because it's it holds much more when it comes to applications for your crypto crypto assets, I should say, um, as opposed to the S. I know the S is cheaper, but the S you can only hold anywhere from like two to four applications at a time. It sucks. I don't encourage people to get it unless you only have say like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, otherwise invest in the nano S plus and you'll be very happy that you did. And if you're ever curious what version you're on, on your ledger live, just come up to settings here, go on over to about, and then you can see the version right here, which is ledger live 2.4, 2.0. That's what we just updated on the system. You can even click on details to see what is included with that update. If you're curious. And uh, yeah, so go back to the portfolio section here. You're back at home base. And that is how you update uh, not only Ledger Live, but also your Nano S Plus and the apps that are on it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Even when I'm not posting videos, I tend to respond to comments within the same day or within two to three days. So I'm still here helping you out even if I'm not producing a video. Guys, hope you have an awesome day today and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.